U.S. Marshals tracked down a getaway car in the manhunt for escaped Alabama prisoner Casey White and his corrections officer, but no signs of romantically involved fugitives. One, an official even revealing the escaped murderer could be disguised as a woman in a wheelchair. Host of Crime Stories on Fox Nation, Nancy Grace, is on the case, and she joins us now. Good morning, Nancy. Quite a case. What Good do you morning. make of it? Good morning. Thank you for inviting me. But before we get carried away with the discussion of what he may or may not be wearing. Let me remind everybody that he shot at his girlfriend. He held her roommates at gunpoint, shot her dog dead. Not only that, his other girlfriend died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound with a sawed-off shotgun, which is very difficult to manipulate via suicide and shoot yourself in the chest. And he was in the home at the time. That is now under review. And we've got the death of another woman, Connie Jane Ridgway, that he admitted he murdered. So while we're all, and it is laughable to think of this guy as big as he is, about six, seven to six, nine in a wheelchair dressed as a little old lady being pushed around by his lover wearing a gray wig remember he is a killer and when he gets tired of dragging her around He'll kill her, too. And in a, a very eerie premonition, he told his girlfriend he wanted to kill her and then be killed by the cops himself. So that's a scenario playing out in his head. Uh, and there was a lot of pre-planning that went into this, and I've spoken to the elected sheriff, and this was a four-time employee of the year, this woman. And she was very trusted but the degree of pre-planning that went into this was overwhelming. She used an alias to buy a car, the orange SUV we have seen, with cash. She parked it at a shopping center nearby, preparing for the next day when she would release the defendant. She planned out her retirement, submitted it the day before, and there she goes with about $90,000 that she took, she withdrew out of multiple banks. She was ready for this and she had been planning. Now all this business about did they have a relationship, let me just remind everybody, we believe that they have been spotted not only at a department store but at an adult store. Hmm. So if they didn't have sex before, they're having it now. Well, as you point out, we, we, we get, we get we get entranced by the image of a six foot nine man dressed up in a disguise as a little old lady or even the romantic relationship. But as you point out, I think importantly, he's a dangerous man. And this story is headed towards potentially a dangerous ending if, if, uh, if this isn't resolved very quickly. Takes yeah. To get free, whatever it takes. And they have released these renderings of what they may look like now with their hair brunette and the size difference between them, the U.S. Marshals. I think that's going to be very helpful. Yeah. Uh, Nancy, great stuff as always. You also have some great stuff coming up. Mother's Day murder, a Nancy Grace investigation. It's on Fox Nation, and you can check that out as well. Nancy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, and happy Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you.